Hi, right, Jeremy Wynn, your Black Belt Broker Team, coming at you with a new Real Talk Thursday. This is actually based on a Gazette article that came out a couple weeks ago. I apologize for being late on getting it out, but better late than never, right? So, big, big thing that's going on right now is affordability. In Colorado Springs, affordability keeps going down because we are getting more and more expensive. We are now at 108% almost of the national average, so we are higher than the average, so lack of affordability, and we keep going up. Uh, Denver actually has started to come down. Denver is still more expensive, less affordable than Colorado Springs, but the gap is closing. Um, and I think it's gonna continue to do so for some time. The most interesting part about this is like we keep saying, the things that are getting less affordable are those inflationary things, housing, shelter, and goods. Right? We're paying more for goods. Lots of reasons why COVID obviously affected that a lot. We've got a uh, lack of inventory of all kinds of things, right? Uh, lack of supply and plenty of demand. So we're getting increased pricing, bottlenecks, all that stuff. I mean, if you've seen the articles about you know 44 ships setting uh off the coast of California, wait, cargo ships are waiting to be unloaded. Like all of that is affecting costs of goods um, and housing. We just have more people moving here than there is housing to take them up. Uh, one thing about this is that the index that it's based on or the information it's based on is more for uh, upper income. I'm not gonna say wealthy, but it's definitely like uh, upper middle class, like lots of disposable income. So it's a little bit higher, uh, takes into account higher priced properties, uh, apartments, uh, you know, things like that. So not exactly based on everybody's outlook, but definitely the uh, more affluent, but still a good gauge on what we're gonna see. And I don't think it's gonna change. I think Colorado Springs is gonna get somewhat less affordable. I think it said we are the 28th most expensive uh, metropolitan area out of uh, 180 or so that they keep track of. That uh, being the case, I'm not surprised, right? We are a fantastic city and people are moving here like crazy. And we are still less expensive than lots of the, what are I gonna say, cool places to live, where the cool kids wanna move, uh, both coasts and a lot of the big, big cities. Um, but of course, we're talking about the entire metropolitan areas of the entire country. That's a lot. You've got the South and the Midwest where things are definitely more affordable and land is a lot easier to come by. It's not mountainous and water is available and all the things that restrict us, they don't have those things. So yeah, of course we're gonna be more expensive. We're super cool and we have some limiting factors on growth, um, but it's gonna be a big change coming. I think things are gonna to continue to stay expensive. I think we're gonna be more expensive than the average and I think we're gonna close that gap on Denver. Um, so what's that mean? In my opinion, it means buy now, right? Buy now, because we're going to see inflation. It's going to keep happening almost for sure. I mean, it's, I'd be shocked if we don't keep seeing some inflation that's pretty bad. And real estate is a hedge against that. And you want to get in now versus later. We say it all the time. When was the best pl time to plant a tree? Well, 50 years ago. And when's the next best time? Right now. Plant a tree now. Get into real estate now. We'll help you find, buy a house, sell a house, whatever you need to do, upgrade, change. It's what we do. If you like these videos, please subscribe, hit the notifications, all that kind of stuff. It helps the algorithm and someday lots of people will see our videos instead of just a handful of diehards. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you on the next one.